I'm Larry Springer, state representative for the 45th Legislative District. That district includes parts of Kirkland, Redmond, and Sammamish, and the cities of Woodenville, Carnation, and Duval. Next year, however, due to redistricting, it will lose Carnation, sorry about that, and we'll pick up a larger portion of the city of Sammamish. So we'll be talking to a lot of you in South Sammamish next year. I wanted to highlight uh, two or three areas that we're working on this session in the legislature. As you know, the legislature has just come into session. There are three areas that are of the most important, I think, to all of us down here. Number one uh, is creating jobs. That is the way out of this recession. We've known that for a long time. Uh, so we have a number of issues or initiatives, I should say, in front of us that uh, should help the state uh, produce jobs. Not uh, the least of which is a, uh, a mechanism by which we will use an existing revenue stream, bond against the revenue that comes in, and put people to work building public works projects, uh, renovating schools, cleaning up the environment. Should produce 25,000 jobs in the short run. My job as deputy majority leader in charge of jobs and economic development makes this a high priority for me, so I'll be working with my colleagues both in the House and the Senate to see if we can get that bill through. Secondly, we need to preserve our education system. The Supreme Court just recently said that we're not meeting our obligations to fully fund basic education. We need to do a better job of that, uh, and the Supreme Court has given us a deadline of a few years to get that done. But secondly, and of really critical importance right now, is to maintain our degree production in our higher education system, both at the community college technical college and our four years. I am now on the higher ed committee, so that's an area that I will be spending a good deal of my time uh, on this session. And thirdly, we need to preserve the safety net. Because at the end of the day, um, it, it says a lot about uh, the state of Washington uh, in terms of how we take care of those of us who are the most vulnerable, particularly uh, indigent, low-income seniors who have spent a lifetime contributing to the state of Washington and deserve dignity in their final years. Uh, we need to make sure that we preserve the safety net for those folks. So those three areas, uh, producing jobs now, providing for a, a good education system, and preserving the safety net are high on my list. So again, thank you for listening. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. That information is at the bottom of the screen, and we'll talk to you again soon.